you hear that? This is one of the mini perks of living next door to a high school. McDonald's pass complete to Wesley Smith. Touchdown Livingston. Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. This is episode number 9, I think. I always forget the number even though it should be easy to remember, but whatever. I think it's 9. I'm Ella. Uh, I want to welcome all my new subscribers because it keeps going up. It's 120 something right now. <laughs> um, welcome back to all my old subscribers, or previous subscribers. It's a little bit nicer. Um, I'm just going to do like a disclaimer real fast. My son is awake and in the living room, so he'll probably make an appearance at some point. And uh, this probably won't be very long this time because, one, I don't have a lot of stuff, and two, um, I got other things I have to do. Uh, I also want to throw out there that the reason I don't have a lot of finished stuff or new whips or anything is because my um, stepfather, I almost said father-in-law, I've been calling, I keep saying father-in-law, but stepfather has been sick and in the hospital and the band is practicing. But he's in the hospital, and I've been helping my mom with that, you know, doing errands and stuff for her. So we haven't had a lot of time, or I haven't had a lot of time to craft. But I did get some things done, and I got one thing started, too, technically. And uh, I am preparing for the fair, our county fair, which starts tomorrow. But Saturday the 2nd is where I, that morning I go to enter my projects. And then that evening at 4, well, you know, they judge it sometime during the day, but then at 4 they open it up. And you go in there and see, you know, what you want or whatever, what everybody wants. I'm excited about that. I'm super excited. But anyways, I'm rambling. My father, well, not my father-in-law, my stepfather has been sick and in the hospital, so I haven't had a lot of crafting time. Was what I was originally saying, but I got sidetracked. Um, and now my, my brain farted and I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's just start. <laughs> but um, if, it, if I keep looking this way, I'm looking at my son, making sure he's not doing something terrible but uh, I've only got three finished objects one of them's not 100% finished because I didn't uh, weave in the ends and one of them I think I showed last week but it's two I made two um, he's making noises <laughs> he's doing that <laughs> two dish cloths with um, I did find the label to one of them and it is peaches and cream which I think is the kind of Walmart and the colorway, I think it was C stripes or something like that. I had the ball band, but then my son got hold of it and ripped it up. So, But um, I just have two little cloths. And I actually have enough of the, other, the second ball to probably make another one and still have a little bit left over. And I plan on doing that because I want a bunch of these in my kitchen so I can use these and get rid of sponges 100%. But yeah, these are quick. These are just half double crochet back and forth <laughs> and um, I do I think I mentioned it last time I do want to mess around and try to find a pattern that is a little bit more open so that it can close you know like right there if you go a bit up it's still pretty big so you can't really get down in like cups and things very well without like you know stretching it out this way and doing it <laughs> like that but I want to try to make a pattern that has more holes in it so that it will fold um, smaller and fit into creases and stuff better I don't know if it's possible, but I'm going to try it. My other finished object, I don't know if you can hear the band practicing. Sometimes you can, but that I can hear the drums. Sorry. Is the circle vest, which I'm probably going to hold it up all wrong. I think this is the right way. I guess I could have put it on, but I forgot. The ends aren't weaved in, but it's done other than that. This is made with Lion Brand Mandala in Gnome. It's one and a half cakes. Um, that's it, like, stretched out. I think it's really pretty. I initially made it to wear to the fair, but now I think I might enter it because they've got all kinds of clothing um, categories. So I thought I would find one for it and enter it. I just got to weave in the ends. There's only like four ends, I think. I don't know. But it's really pretty, and it, it wasn't very difficult. It was just time consuming, but it might have been just because my mind was elsewhere. If I felt like this meshy part took forever, and I did do a few more rolls than um, 
the pattern called for just because I wanted it to be bigger. And then the border rounds, like this green part and this bright orange part took forever, but it's because it's a ton of double crochets. This yellowy part was easy, but it was just like mostly chains. This pattern, the one over there, is, where is it? It's the Lotus Circle Vest, um, I already told you what it was, <laughs> by Regina Weiss, Weiss, Weiss. It is a paid for PDF on Ravelry, Ravelry but it is uh, a free written out pattern on her blog and if you go to her Ravelry page, which I'll link below, it, it links to her blog and that's where I got it for free. And because I don't care if I have to copy it or whatever. That's my only finished objects. And I only have two whips and technically one of my whips I frogged but I plan on starting it over so it still counts. I'll talk about it first. And it is, it's going to be made with um, Sweet Roll, Premier Sweet Roll, and this color is called Gelato Stripes, I think. Which, I don't even know what Gelato is. I know it's some kind of dessert, but I didn't know it was purple and blue. I don't know. It's my little hook. It's so cute it's up here. But it is by Zoe. She's also, she does videos too, and I'm not even going to start to try to pronounce her last name because I will ruin it. It, it looks like it's Deterding, Deterding. I don't know. I spell, I'm, I stink at pronouncing things. But um, I've had these sweet rolls. I have two of this kind and two in a colorway called silver. And I've been trying to figure out things to make with it. Did I even say what I was making? I didn't. But I said his pattern was blah. Whatever. I'm, I'm frazzled. <laughs> it's going to be a, her pattern's called Easy Ribbed Cow. And I wanted to make a cow and hat set, but I don't know if I have enough because I have two cakes of each of these. And, um, the hat that I want to make by her is also ribbed, but it's bulky, so I would have to double up. But worst case scenario, I'll just have to go to Joanne's and get some more yarn. <laughs> Except our closest Joanne's is about 40, 45 minute drive. But eh. I love this yarn. It's really soft and it's pretty. And it looked really cool when I was working it up. And I got about three rows in. And I was watching a movie with my son. I was watching Moana. And I really liked that movie, so I wasn't really paying attention to my crochet. And I messed up. It, it involves a lot of front posts and back posts, double crochets, which I actually hate, but I like the effect they make. Um, and I put two front posts beside each other, and it messed up the pattern, so I had to rip it out. And I got mad, so I ripped out the whole thing, the chain and everything. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna start it again with this, with my hook, with my bare hook. But I love Zoe's patterns. I've never done one, but I have a lot of them favorited on Ravelry, and. I just, I don't know, I just like the way they look, but I also love Zoe, she's so hilarious. I'll link her channel below too. Um, she's from the UK, so that's fun. But, uh, and she just got back from a cruise, which is neat. I want to go on a cruise. Alright, my other whip, I only have like three rolls done, maybe even two. That's so pathetic. I started it the day that he, uh, my stepfather went into the hospital, so it's not had any love since then. But it is or it will be. <laughs> Just a line right now. But it's the beginning of, and it seems really long, but anyways. Um, the S'more Pillow, I think she's called it the S'more Cuddler or something like that. By Donna Beavers, and it's it's just like a s'more with a happy little face on it. Um, I didn't read a whole lot of the pattern because I just started it, but this, this part is supposed to be part of the graham cracker on the bottom. And they have, the pattern has it to where you, you make this like eight rows wide, you, just, you know, you fasten off and weave in your ends and then you do it again. So it would be the front and back. And I don't know if each color, like, because it would be graham cracker, chocolate, marshmallow, graham cracker. <laughs> um, I don't know if each piece is like that or just the cracker because it's, it extends further out than the chocolate and the marshmallow does. But um, I think this would be a really fast project if I actually get time to sit down and do it. Which hopefully will be soon. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, that's my only whips right now. Uh, oh no it's not, I lied. I forgot about this one, it's sitting right beside me too. This is my Grease uh, Crochet Along, hosted by Chaos and Chop Suey. Oh, there's more things free too, by the way. But the Grease thing is a paid pattern. Uh, it's $8, I believe, for the whole thing. I feel like I've been working on this one forever, but again, you know, the hospital and all that has gotten in the way. But this is the Rydell High Square. It's about halfway done. I don't know if you can even see it. I'll hold it sideways. This is like half of the R. This hasn't had any work on it 
in like a week. I don't think. Probably since right after my last video was made. Which is like a week ago. But, um, that's a really fun pattern and it's fun to see it come together. Another square was just released this Monday and it has to do with Vince Fontaine and Marty. But, um, I'm trying to hurry because I got things I gotta do, but I'm, I'm also like, uh, I'm, I'm not focused. I'm not focused, so I need to hurry and get done. <laughs> um, next category will be my soon-to-be whips, which I kind of, I've talked about that like a couple of videos, but this is actual, um, like I'm going to start some of them tomorrow, because tomorrow, this 1st of September, Hannah from the Cozy Cottage Crochet, I'll link her channel and her Ravelry group below, because the crochet along is going to be in her Ravelry group. Uh, it's starting a crochet along. It's a shawl along, but it covers shawls, scarves, wraps, anything of that nature, cows. And I will be starting the Emily scarf tomorrow with my Gatlinburg yarn. I think there's enough here to make the whole thing. But I mean, I'm hoping that the patterns looks good because I really I want to make something so bad with this yarn, and I'm having a hard time finding one. I have found a few shawl patterns that are paid for patterns that I'm thinking about buying. So if the Emily scarf doesn't work out, I will just rip it out and start it over. But the Emily scarf is a free pattern, and the reason I chose it is because it looks pretty. It's smaller. It's like a shawlette since I only have the one ball. And uh, it just looks like a beginner shawl pattern. It, it basically looks like a bunch of double crochets, which it probably is because I haven't read the pattern yet. <laughs> um, there's also another shawl that I found that I wanted to make. Because I have some more yarn that I want to use that I've had sitting around for a while. And I could make it, I guess, an inner into her thing. Excuse me. I don't know if she can... I guess she'd let us enter more than one. I haven't read the rules in a while. But uh, it's called The Dragon Belly by Joanna... Johanna Lindell? Lindell? I don't know if I pronounce that right. But this is the yarn that I want to make it out of. This is Knit Picks Hearthrone Fingering in the colorway Graffiti Speckle. <laughs> Almost said Sprinkle. It's fingering weight. Each of these is 357 yards. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting. But I got these for a, in, during a Christmas swap um, last year. And I haven't figured out what to use them with. So I'm, I'm going to use them on like a shawl or something since I got a pretty good amount of them. I just have to What's it called? Like bullet? I know a lot of people make cakes, but I prefer balls. But I gotta do that. To so all three of those. Alright, what else do I need to talk about? Oh yeah, another upcoming uh, patterns that I need to work on this month, as in September. <laughs> um, I can't believe it's in August, by the way. But anyways, is for my son's Halloween costume, which he's going to be going as the Woodsman in uh, Little Red Riding Hood. And I'll, I'll be his Red Riding Hood in my husband will be the big bad wolf. We just have to get him a wolf mask and I'm just going to get a red cape because I'm simple. <laughs> and like a basket to carry the candy in. But um, I want to make my son just for pictures because I know he won't wear it and you know we're in Tennessee so it's going to be pretty hot still in on Halloween. I mean it might possibly be cold. There's a bigger chance of it raining than being cool because it usually doesn't get cool where I'm at until like Thanksgiving. But anyways, uh, <laughs> I want to make him the Bobble Bearded Beanie by Ashley Presbury. I'm not sure how to say that. But uh, it's just one of those beanies with a little beard on it that I just want to take a picture of him in with his little costume on. Because I know he won't wear it. He won't wear a hat, so I, he definitely won't wear a hat with a beard on it. And then I also need to make him the little axe for him to carry, or for me to carry, because he probably won't carry it. But, you know, again, it's just for pictures. And it's just a little axe pattern by Karen Huber. Both of those are free, by the way. Um, both patterns and patterns I just mentioned. And also, I just wanted to show for today. I actually got these for his Halloween costume. I just got him some long black pants. These are size 2T. He's only 16 months tomorrow, but he is a big boy. He is already wearing 2Ts and some things 3Ts because he is tall and husky. He's putty. He's, like I just said, he's 16 months, and he already weighs about 35 pounds. I don't know for sure next Tuesday he's got a doctor appointment. But he's big. <laughs> he's been, like, he never wore newborn diapers or clothes. He went straight into uh, three to six-month clothes. 
and size one diapers for like a week and then he was two and now he's in size five. But just got him these little black pants because they could be wet or a little chilly. And then I found this cute little plaid shirt. I wanted a plaid shirt. I thought I was going to have to order it, but I actually found one at Walmart. It was only like six dollars, I think. And you know, it's just everybody always associates plaid with um, lumberjacks. And it's just cute. Plus, my husband likes plaid, so if we got pictures made or something, we can have plaid as one of the colors. But that will be the Halloween costumes. The last thing I have to talk about is acquisitions, which I actually have some this week. One of them is just another uh, skein of the Mainstays Red. For This is for the Grease Crochet Along, because I still have like half of the last skein I bought. But then after I finish the Rydell High, there's a long skinny panel that is red and white. So I knew I would need more red. And I just decided to stick with that same red. And then also for the Grease Crochet Along, I bought another jumbo of the Red Heart Super Saver Black. Because a lot of the squares already have black in them. And I imagine a lot more well before it's over with. And plus, you know, even if I have a lot of scrap of this, black can be used for everything. I like to make a lot of amigurumi, so eyes and you know different things always have to have black and white on hand and then the next one or the next four my husband actually bought me last night he works second shift so he doesn't come home until Jesse and I are already in bed he, get, he gets home about 11 30 at night and I had messaged him when I went to bed last night and asked him to stop and get some distilled water a gallon of it for my mom because she has a uh, I think it's called a CPAP one of those machines you have to wear when you sleep uh, and it needs distilled water to work and she's, she's staying at the hospital with her husband so that you know she needs it there be careful I'm watching you I'm watching you he's so oh, oh. Okay, sorry <laughs> cuteness goodness be careful I think he's doing that for attention but anyways I woke up with my son because even though he's 16 months he still wakes up a couple times at night is annoying but I'm working through it. He's gonna grow up on his days so it's not a big deal. But I got up with him at I think midnight-ish and on our kitchen counter there was these yarns, a little love note, and some chocolate. <laughs> and he had bought me while he was getting that water two more cakes of mandala gnome. This one seems different to me like more I guess because there's a lot of orange in it it just seems brighter. Two more, so now I'm back to having eight and a half. I started with two, and then I bought eight, and then I made that circle vest, so then I had six and a half, so now I got eight and a half again. <laughs> so I got a lot of them. And then these are ones I've been wanting forever. He got me two genies, I think. Yes. I've been wanting these to make something for myself because I love these, like, minty color and the grays and whites. It's so pretty. I want to, I don't know, I want to make something I can wear. I'll try to find a pattern for something. But it was really sweet, and I love that he thought of yarn instead of like flowers or something. But um, now all I need is some unicorn, and some spirit, and some thunderbird, and some wizard. <laughs> I want it all. I, like, I really like all the mandala. There's a couple that I would choose last, like wizard and Chimera, I think it's called, and Centaur, just because I prefer the brighter colors, but I could see a lot of potential in those other ones to make, you know, like, I don't know if anyone's made a campfire cardigan out of Mandala because it's so thin, it would take a lot more, but it would be pretty in, like, Wizard or something, those dark, earthy colors would just be real pretty in that kind of sweater. But, I think that's actually everything, and I can hear the drums again, drumming. And I realize this seemed a little rushed, but it's, you know, again, there's just a lot of stuff going on personally. And I thought about starting, like, a personal thing at the end of my videos. There's a lot of podcasters and you crochet YouTubers and knit, cr cr knit YouTubers, that's hard to say, that add a lot of personal stuff. And, you know, that's great in my opinion. I'm the kind of person who I want to get to know the people that I'm watching because it's more personal that way. But I know there's some people who don't care. You know, they want to watch the yarns and related stuff and then they click off, which is fine. And, you know, you do you. So uh, that's why I thought about adding it to the end so that if you are the kind of person who just cares about the yarn stuff, you can watch all that and then leave. But, um, except for on this video, I actually said that at the beginning. <laughs> but, um, 
I may start adding little updates and stuff just you know so that we can get to know each other especially if something's going on in my life that would inhibit me from working crocheting and stuff because you guys would see that and you would need to know why I guess <laughs> but um, and I also I've considered doing other videos like Randy on Randy's ra random rambling or something like that rambling Randy's I don't know I'm confused. It confuses me too many R's and stuff. But um, on her channel, she was she's been doing vlogist, and I've considered maybe doing something like that soon, like maybe Vlogtober or um, Vlogmas, which is December. I think that would be a lot of fun because of all the Christmassy stuff. But Vlogtober would be fun too because it'd be in preparation for Halloween. I don't know. I, I just thought it would be fun. I've always wanted to be one of those YouTubers. Like I watch a lot of YouTubers that either daily vlog or it's like lifestyle where it's like stay at home moms or whatever who clean and cook and stuff and I don't know why it's fun but obviously it is it's not just me because these people have a lot of subscribers but a lot of people like to watch other people clean in fast motion or to cook recipes and I'm really big I, I love finding recipes on Pinterest and then trying them I got two new ones I'm trying this week which is lasagna soup and tater tot casserole which I've heard of a million times and never thought to make one but then this week I was like you know what I'm going to try that but um, I, I don't know it's just fun to see other people's lives and how people live and stuff so I, I've actually considered about branching out and doing stuff like that I don't know if anyone of you guys would be interested in that because you're yarn people but maybe other people would be and let's just grow the community you know or just make another channel I don't know see I'm just bull I'm just frazzled <laughs> but um about my stepfather, I keep saying, I keep wanting to say father-in-law, I don't know why. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it a lot though, but he's got like a blood infection. That's just a natural thing that just happens to some people, is what the doctor said. It's just like a fluke in the human body that we all have this bacteria in us. And sometimes it just makes certain people sick. Well, he's got it and it's given him uh, septicemia, which is bad. If you know anything about it, it's when your, your blood has a, a bacteria in it which is obviously dangerous because your blood keeps you alive and it goes through the majority of your organs, all of them really, which could cause spreading, you know. But um, he's been he's been in the hospital for about a week, I think a week, Saturday or Friday, Saturday. Uh, he's been treated with antibiotics and such. Uh, he had an abscess or something on his liver, which I assume is what started this or what caused it, I don't know. They've taken care of it a little bit. They're treating him, and they're supposed to be sending him home soon. Hopefully, as long as his the bacteria is still dropping in his blood. But he's also been presenting with a lot of uh, heart issues since he's been in the hospital. But I don't know if that's related. Excuse me. To the bacteria, I don't know. My mom's trying to keep me briefed, but um, you know, I'm just. It's hard to stay abreast of stuff like that when you're you know doing regular life things but I've been running around like crazy doing stuff for my mom which I don't mind at all I mean she's my mom she raised me she wiped my butt she taught me how to use the toilet <laughs> she taught me how to feed myself she did all this stuff for me so you know it's not gonna hurt me at all to do stuff for her which I love doing I love my mommy <laughs> I'm a mommy's girl but um, like tomorrow tomorrow morning I gotta get up early and do some more errands for her and then Saturday morning, I gotta get up early to go to the fair. I'm so excited. I might try to film a little bit there. Now, we'll definitely film after they um, judge and let us in the building because I'm a little excited. I, I think I'll at least get one ribbon, I hope. <laughs> I'm entering, I've showed it before, but I'll, I might re show. Well, I'll, I'll obviously show Saturday. Anyways, <laughs> um, I'm just super excited about the fair. It feels like, you know, it felt like it was so far away and then it just, boop, there it is. It's already a couple of days away. But, um, other life updates is my son, you know, he'll be 16 months tomorrow. And Tuesday he has his 15-month uh, appointment. He's a month behind on his appointments ever since he was born because we had to stay in the hospital longer because he was a little sick when he was born. Um, he's got to get shots, which, which stinks, but I know it's better for him, you know. I think he only has to get two more sets of shots until kindergarten, so that's cool. But um, I'll probably update y'all then about his sizes and stuff because he's always been so much bigger than the normal kid his age. It's exciting to see him with other kids his age because he's significantly taller. Whoops, he's whining. He's probably getting tired. It's about nap time. I think that's all the little updates, though. 
And I've been babbling, but I'm going to go ahead and go because I need to get ready to start cooking dinner and all that fun stuff and clean up my yarn mess that I make. Because I don't know if you've noticed, when I film my videos, I usually just like chuck stuff that way, which that way is just an extended part of my table. And sometimes it misses the table and ends up in the floor. And that's not a good thing when you have a toddler running around. So he's been distracted by TV so long. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here and uh, get to editing this video, which is always fun and hopefully upload it tomorrow. So um, if you have any comments or questions or any of that fun stuff, leave it below. Like the video if you liked it. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already and you know share it if you'd like. I don't know. I don't know if I'm worth share worthy. I wish I had the personality of Margaret Olander. I know I fangirled about her last time, but I think it got cut out. But I just love Margaret Olander. She's just so cool and intriguing. I just hope I'm like her when I grow up. <laughs> but um, that's everything. I've done said that like 500 times. I'm so bad at rambling. I've noticed a lot of us podcasters slash video makers do that, but I think it's because we don't have other people to talk to about yarn. Anyways, for real this time, I'm leaving because I got stuff I got to do. I will see you guys tomorrow technically, but after you watch this, I'll see you next week with fair footage. Yay! I hope I win. Bye.